Hi everyone, it's Ruby from Ruby Rose UK. Today in this video, I am going to be unboxing my leopard gecko. I am so, so excited because I've been waiting to get him for a few months now. And I just had a shower and he is actually supposed to be coming in about 20 minutes now, but I do need to get ready because I'm still in my nightwear so i'm gonna get ready and i'm going to be sharing this entire experience with you all so i'm so so excited and also before he comes i do need to finish up some things in his vivarium which i will share with you guys too if you haven't already seen my latest video which is what i got for my birthday then make sure to go check it out because i did get my leopard gecko for my birthday and now i'm actually getting him today on the subject of my last video i want to thank you all so so much for all your support and for commenting on my video i love reading all your guys' comments and it's so so nice thank you so now i will change and i've got some black joggers on a white hoodie and a green top and he's actually about to arrive any minute now i'm so so excited so this is the vivarium there's substrate in as i said on my birthday video i needed to put that in and we finally got it there's some slate for him to walk on and there's loads of heights they're homemade by me and my dad you can buy them online probably on amazon a water bowl which i'm about to fill up this is the bowl to put his food in because he's so young he's a baby i'm going to be feeding him mealworms especially when he first comes because he will probably be freaked but i will be also feeding him small crickets we have a thermostat it's right here my dad does need to put it on to the side of the vivarium but this controls the heat of the vivarium and if it's too cold or hot and it's supposed to be on 32 which we put it on just then but my dad just needs to stick it on there but he's doing work right now and finally they have a warm hide here and a cold hide they have these because they can't control their heat so we have to control it for them and i do have loads of other hides too which i might put in for him to go through when he's more not scared or freaked and of course there is a light as well to turn on and off you have to try and regulate their routines the light is on in daytime so they know it's the daytime and it's off at night time so it's night time okay so now i'm gonna go get him some water and this is the final vivarium and i think it looks really good let's go get him some water because he needs water <laughs> So that's the water all filled up for him. And thank you again, I forgot to say this at the beginning, thank you to everyone who has told me some names because I'm still deciding on a name and it's so hard because I love all the names that you guys told me and I love all the names that I've been thinking about too. I can't not believe I've got a gecko coming like basically now and I still don't have a name. Mom, you open the door, you open the door. I don't want to open the door. You. My mum's opening the door right now. Oh my gosh! Fed and water to on the way down, yeah. So yeah, this is a normal way to transport geckos? Kept to bed 26 to 28 degrees in the, in the box anyway, so... Thank Bye. you! Bye! Okay. Um. Oh, okay, I'm gonna go put him in his... Very now. So much smaller than Rayleigh's. Oh, he's moving. I'm going to get him out now, but I do know he is going to be quite quick because when they're babies, they're quite freaky and Egg, Rayleigh's gecko, was not like this. He was still. There's even a little water bowl here. He has been fed and kept at this right temperature and he really wants to come out now. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'm going to take him out now. I'm going to take the lid off first. He's tiny, isn't he? He's absolutely tiny. Okay, I want to take him out now. I feel bad for him. Take the lid off first. Try not to scare him. <gasps> He's so cute. Oh gosh, he's fast, isn't he? 
He's very speedy. So this is my gecko the first time in his little home. I can tell that he likes the warm light because he's gone in it straight away. Ah, I have left the gecko. I thought he was going to be a lot freaked than he was because he actually walked onto my hand. When really got Egg, which is her gecko, he was actually very still and he didn't really move until she picked him up and put him in his hide. My gecko, I don't have a name for him yet, he just, I think it's a he, he just walked onto my hand and just started walking up my arm. So these are the name options. Again, thank you to everyone who suggested a name. I have Chip, Egg and Chips you know, um, Ziggy, which my friend Amelia actually thought of, Nugget, oh, I forgot what Emma said, I think it was Sushi, Sushi and Iggy. I think he looks like an Iggy. Oh, he's popped his head out. He's adorable. <gasps> oh. Now he's actually gone in the cool hide, so he must be quite warm. So it's a bit late now, and my dad really actually haven't seen him yet, and I just cannot stop looking at him. Um, but I still don't have a name for him. Look at him now, he's just walking forward. So I think he's exploring, kind of getting used to it. Everybody, meet Nugget! <laughs> Really, I hope you're happy. She wanted me to name him Yugi Nugget and he really does look like a nugget to me. He's so cute, oh my gosh. So my dad just finished his work call and he's desperate to see my gecko. So, okay, um, he's gonna come up now and I'm gonna show him. Okay, dad, you can come up now. I can't wait to see him. I've been living with this for ages. <laughs> it's been like a month, hasn't it? <gasps> Oh, look! He is so cute! Do see his tail? He's tiny. Hello! Is he happy? Yeah, when I got him out, he was in a little container. You'll see it all on the camera. But he was in a container and he was really... He was very active. Yeah, and I opened up and he just walked straight onto my arm. No way! And then he went right into Aww. it. Well, the, the breeder's been handling him all the time because we've seen all the photographs. Yeah. So he, he's obviously really used to it. His tail's so cool. I know, he's, he's got, got a stumpy tail. The story is, wait, you tell it because I actually don't know the full story. He got his tail caught on something in the vivarium when he was a real baby. Being a baby, they, they kind of like panic and they're like, mm. so the, <laughs> end, the end of his tail came off. But that, that's why uh, geckos have tails that drop off so that they uh, can get away from predators. So he basically dropped his tail when he was a baby. Goodness, he's confident, isn't he? Look at his little face. So we're going to go get him some mealworms. He might not eat them, but at least he'll have everything he needs. You normally feed them at night, but I'm just going to put them in so he has an option. And the last thing is calcium because they do need this and they take it when they need it. So I'm just going to put this little pot of calcium in there and he can take it if he wants it. Also you dust their food with it and it's good for their bones. So he has got everything he needs now so I'm going to leave him so he has time to settle in his new home. And then I'm going to gradually introduce myself to him so he gets used to me. So in future videos, I will show you him being held and in his run and kind of out so you can see him properly. So that is the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much to everyone who commented names. I love every single one of them and it was so hard to choose. So I'll give you guys an update in future videos and I look forward to sharing him with you. So that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I have two shout outs for this week's video. The first shout out goes to Grace Jennings. Thank you so much for all your lovely comments and for supporting me. The second shout out goes to Iona Collins. Thank you so much for subscribing to me and for commenting on the community page. I can't end this video without thanking my notification squad and early squad. I love you guys so much. I love you all. Bye.